a very important test question with complete solution. We'll sketch a diagram, relate the variables, find critical number, and prove that this is absolute minimum. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we'll take up application test questions from calculus. The question here is based on minimum area for circle and squares. The question is, a piece of wire 50 centimeter long is cut into two pieces. One piece is bent to form a circle and the other is bent to form a square. Determine how the wire should be cut so that the area enclosed is a minimum. So we need minimum area to be enclosed by the two pieces cut. One will be transformed into a circle, the other one into a square. I like you to pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now to solve such questions, we need to first sketch and relate the variables. So let us say that we have a wire which is of the length 50 centimeters. If we cut a part of it, which is, let us say, x centimeters and transform that into a circle. Let's make a circle out of this. And the other remaining part will be 50 minus x. Right? With that, let us make a square. Now, let us assume that the radius of the circle is r and each side of a square is l. So, from here, we can relate R and L in terms of X, right? Now, clearly, we know that the value of X is between 0 to 50, right? So, that's our boundary. We need to find maximum and minimum area. We are focusing on minimum area now. So, area is equal to what? Area is area of circle plus area of square, right? So, area of circle is pi r square and that of the square is L square, right? So, we have an expression for area. Now, the question is how do we relate? radius to x and also L to x. Well, clearly, L can be directly related to x as we know that 4 times L is 50 minus x, right? So, so from here, we know that four times the length is equals to 50 minus x or length is equals to 50 minus x divided by 4. Right? We can substitute that here. As far as the radius is concerned, the length is circumference, right? So, so we know that 2 pi r is equal to x or radius is equal to x divided by 2 pi. Is that clear to you? So, we know r and L both in terms of X. So, that's what we have to do, right? So, we can write down the area as a function of X as pi radius being X over 2 pi whole square plus length 50 minus X over 4 whole square. So, we get an expression for area. Is that clear to you? Do you see that? Now, it's a function of x 
to find the minimum value, we can find the critical number and then find the answer, correct? So, we can simplify this a bit if you want. We can further write this area as equal to, if you open this bracket, we get x square and denominator will be 2 square is 4, pi is square, 1 pi cancels, so we get 4 pi here, right? Plus 50 minus, sorry, 50 minus x whole square. So, 4 we can take out, so we get 16 and we have here 50 minus x whole square, right? So, anyway, so that is the expression for area. To find minimum, we'll have to differentiate this and find the critical number, right? So, let's take it on a new page. After attending university, the winner of this year's Certificate of Achievement Shulik Leader Award is Akshi Kandivan. Great. Our student, Akshit, gets highest marks and the most prestigious Shulik Leader Award. You can be there. Join our classes and excel. So, we have an expression of area as x square over 4 pi plus 1 over 16 times x 50 minus x. Correct? So, that is our expression. 50 minus x whole square, 1 over 16, and x square over 4 pi. Right? So, now if we differentiate with respect to x, we can actually find a critical number. So, dA dx will be what? So, we get 2x over 4 pi plus 1 over 16 times 2 times 50 minus x times the derivative of minus x, which is minus 1. Correct? So, we can actually uh, simplify this a bit more. So, we can take common denominator of 8 pi, right? And here we get 4 pi because now we made this as 8, so 4x, right? And here we have to multiply by pi minus because of this minus pi times 50 minus x, right? So that becomes the rate of change of area with respect to x, clear? Perfect. So, so that is how we could simplify this and now to find the critical number, I am going to equate this to 0. Equating this to 0 means the numerator should be 0. The only unknown here is x which we can find, right? So, we have 4x minus, open the bracket, 50x plus uh, 50 pi, sorry. plus pi x equals to 0. So, we can take x common. So, we get 4 plus pi. Taking 50 pi on the other side, we get 50 pi. And therefore, the value of x is equal to 50 pi over 4 plus pi. Using calculator, we can find this particular value. So, 50 into, I am taking 3.14 as the value of pi divided by 4 plus 3.14 and that gives me approximately 21.98, right? So, I can round this to 22, right? So, we get the value of x as 22. So, that is the circle part, right? So, 
if x is 22, in that case, we are going to break this up into two parts where out of 50, Twenty two will form a circle, and the remaining fifty minus twenty two, which is twenty eight, will form a square. Okay, so we can see that fifty minus twenty two is equal to twenty eight, that will result into a square. Correct. Now, another important part here is to check whether this is indeed the minimum area or not, right? So, we have to check for minimum area, okay? So, we have an expression for area. In this expression, we can put the value of x as 0 and 50 and this value of 22 and then check, right? So, now, let's check minimum area. condition. You could also analyze the first derivative to do so, right? So, what we are going to do here is we have an expression for area which is x square over 4 pi plus 1 over 16, 50 minus x whole square. So, this expression, we have a critical number at x equals to 22. Since we know that x is between 0 to 50, we can find the value for area for 0, right? One extreme. If x is 0, we get what? We get 1 over 16 times 50 square, right? So, let's find this area, which is 50 square divided by 16. It gives us approximately 156.3, right? Let's also find the area when x is 50. That means, if we just make a square with the whole wire, right? So, that will be 1 over, I mean, let's put x as 50 So, it will be 50 square over, the whole wire is a circle, right, 4 pi. So, that will be 50 square divided by 4 times pi. It gives you approximately equal to 199. And now, let us also find the area for x equals to 22. So, if I use 22, I get 22 square over 4 pi plus 1 over 16 times 50 minus 22 whole square, right? Let's calculate this. We have 22 square divided by 4 times 3.14. That is 38.5 approximately. Plus this is 28 square divided by 16, which is 49. And if I add them up, I get approximately equal to 87.5. So, clearly from our calculations, we know that we get minimum area of around 87.5 
centimeter square if 22 centimeter is for circle and 28 centimeter for square. Is that clear to you? So, that is how we can actually solve our question. Perfect. So, we use the condition for extreme conditions since we knew that x is between 0 and 50. We found the minimum value. Well, from here you can see that for maximum, if you just convert this to a square, we get a maximum, right? Or a circle, right? Everything gets to circle, full length, then we get maximum area. For minimum area, that is the, the answer, right? So, that is how we have to solve this question. I hope the concept is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.